Well, folks, uh, I hope you'll bear with us. We were just uh, kind of getting our microphones on. Me and Mr. Vincent Holmes, who is the chair of the uh, 2019 Let the Good Times yes, Roll sir. Festival. Yes, um, forgive us, it's still a pretty new operation <laughs> here at 20 by 49 Live. I'm Chris J. I'm going to put up my little graphic there so you can see that as well as hear it. And we're here again with Vincent Holmes, who is probably extremely busy and stressed out right now. Yeah, I got to put my phone on side because it's not going to stop ringing. So the Let the Good Times Roll Festival is yes. coming up. Yes, sir. Uh, it's coming up June 21st through the 23rd. Yes, sir. Um, for folks who don't know, let's just start at like ground zero. Gotcha. This is this is a festival that I've always thought of as a Juneteenth festival. Yeah. Is that correct? It, it started off that way a little bit, and then it evolved into bigger and better things. And the whole concept of the festival is one to allow our people, allow people with Shreveport, Bossier, the surrounding areas, to have an opportunity to participate in selling items or performing music, anything like that. It was started off as a people festival, mm -hmm. and just giving people opportunities who may not get a chance to perform at other festivals to actually get to do things. Right. But one of the things that I think your festival does incredibly well is, well, I mean, gosh, there's a lot. There's food. Man. Music. Yes. And lately there's been kind of a health and wellness yes, sir. component to it. Uh, one thing that I brought that I wanted to share, I wanted to put up this photo of, uh, and I know we're kind of jumping around, but this photo of a gentleman giving a child a free haircut yes, sir. at that, the festival. That is correct. That's, uh, is that Boss Man's? Uh, yes, sir. Boss Man Bible College. Yes, sir. They do that every year, and yeah. it's like, this is such a cool service. So. I, I love the fact of giving, I'm a big giver back. I love giving back. I love it. Right, so right. So I, I was like, what can I do to incorporate kids and make sure they have something? Give free haircuts. Absolutely. Set up a free haircut. Set up free health screenings. We have a, a guy who's going to actually come out and do pressure points and stress relief, and he's going to raffle away a free ticket for a gym membership at Crystal Shop. Wow. Okay, so you could win a gym membership. For you a whole year. Get, uh, you could learn about pressure points. You can get a haircut. You can get, like, this is stuff that's... Autism. I have a young lady coming to speak about autism. So I have someone coming from the Black Girl, Black Nurses Correlation. Right. She's going to be there doing free health screenings. I mean, you name it, we have everything that is health care. Someone coming from college is about signing up to go to school. Mr. Holmes, does that all begin earlier in the day? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be Saturday morning about 9. We're going to start at like 9, from 9 to 12. Okay, so if you're interested in coming for the health fair at the Let the Good Times Roll Festival, make sure you are there by, you know, when they open. Yeah, so that, we, we'll start off with the 5K run. Mm -hmm. We'll have the 5K. When the 5K run is over with, then we'll go into the health portion of it. I'm going to uh, put some other things up on the screen because they, you may not always think health when you think about what I'm about to put up, which is <laughs> a big plate of beautiful barbecue. Um, there is always so much good Man, stuff to eat food. at this festival. I always tell people, if you're on a diet, just skip this weekend. <laughs> Don't, don't be on your diet this weekend. This is the weekend you don't want to be on a diet. Right. Shrimp and grits. I mean, that, that's a new favorite in the South. We right. Shrimp and grits. We've got guys doing boudin balls. We've got gourmet hot dogs. We've got barbecue, turkey legs, on and on and on. You mentioned to me earlier the uh, stuffed shrimp that someone's going to be doing too, yes, right? Yes, the stuffed shrimp. Yes, sir. Now, this might be getting a little bit into kind of top secret territory, and I don't want to cause you any trouble. Okay, I got you. But... And I'm going to speak directly to the cocktail drinkers okay. who are watching our feed oh right now. Oh my gosh, I know where this is going. I feel, um, I feel the, it. One of my favorite festival traditions okay. in Shreveport is the Omega Oil. Wait a minute, how'd you, wait, hold up. What? So this is a really strong... I'm going to have to call the government. What are they doing? <laughs> so, so look, bear with me, but this is a, a, a potent, delicious cocktail All right. that probably kind of has its origins, I'm guessing, it, with the Royal Omega Brothers. Yeah, yeah with our chapter, yes, sir. Without, we're out the turning, period. Yeah. And uh, you can actually purchase, this This drink, is, as far as I know, Let the Good Times Roll is the only place you can purchase only. it. Place. And um, I'm going to tell you, it's it's one of those things where you have one and that's not enough, and you have two, that's and two too many. you may have to call the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> it, my friend called it the Uber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so the but, we, I've totally buried the lead here, y'all. Forgive me. It's been a crazy week. I don't know if it has been for you two. Yes. But uh, music. Oh, man. I mean, in a lot of ways, I think the Let the Good Times Roll Festival could be the um, biggest uh, live music festival in North Louisiana because yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to throw up real quick a photo of, um, I think, Carl Thomas yes, that from was last year. year. 
and there it looks like there are about twelve thousand people. Man, sh shoulder to shoulder, we call that standing room only. So this year you got uh, Bun B coming. Yes, sir. Um, Sunday night. Who is an icon of uh, Southern rap? Man. Uh, my class song, the year I graduated, was One Day You're Here, Next Day You're Gone. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, it's... He, you you know. just blow my mind. You <laughs> just blow my mind. <laughs> you just blow my mind. <laughs> From UGK. So, I mean, you can't you can't be... You can't be Bun, man. You can't be Bun B. Then we have Kiki Wyatt there with him that night also. Yeah. So, so and she's not only a singer, but um, a reality TV star. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you probably... I forget the name of the show she was on. But, oh, um, uh, it's like an R and B diva. Yeah, I yes, think it's what yes, it's that's called. what it's called. Yeah, R and B divas. Yes. Um, so it's it, it, it's a star-studded lineup again. Yeah, yeah. But you also have um, some traditional, I guess you'd call it Southern Soul mm -hmm. folks like TK Soul. Yes. Um, Crystal it, Thomas. Tell me about this young woman, um, Aiken, Crystal Aiken. Yes, yeah, she's going to be on Sunday morning. She's going to be on Sunday morning. If you remember a show called Sunday's Best, you used to come on BET. Right. She was the very first winner of the Sunday Best reality show. So this is someone who's probably going to bring the house down. Sunday afternoon. Gospel-wise. She is going to bring the house down Sunday afternoon. Okay. I'm so excited because we have not just her lined up. We have a lot of great local gospel acts. So we had Chariots of Fire. My own pastor, Bertrand Bailey, he will be there. So we have tons of gospel music. My mom said, son, I love coming to your festival. But she says, I'm not going to go to church that Sunday. Yeah. I got to get some church music. Right, right, right. So I made sure mom had some church music. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Yes. One thing that you all always do um, uh, is, is, is there's just kind of a nice vibe there. Oh, man. Um, and I'm going to take down these graphics, but kind of show some photos of people just hanging out. I think it's one of the best festivals in town for... I don't know how to say it. Just chilling. I, I like to, I like <laughs> to call it the the Shreveport Family Reunion. Like you have people who you hadn't seen all summer, or all year long, that come volunteer. I have plenty of people right now. We're booking hotels for family and friends coming out of state that want to be a part of the festival and just come work and volunteer. So you get an opportunity to meet people that you hadn't seen in years. And it's always a great feeling. Um, so tickets are already on sale. Yes, sir. Um, and you can get regular admission tickets. Yes, I think sir. they're $10. ten dollars. Um, so this is okay. You could get to see Bun B and Kiki Wyatt and a whole bunch of other acts for ten dollars. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. um, now there are also VIP tickets. Yes, the VIP tickets are forty dollars. That'll give you an opportunity not only to meet Kiki Wyatt, you actually get to come backstage. You wow. get you a T-shirt. You get you a free drink. You get your appetizer, everything for forty dollars, and and you get to sit up close by the stage. That's a great. That's a great deal too. I mean, usually for VIP. It can go up to, yeah, you know. Yeah, a, <laughs> yes, exactly. It can go up. Exactly. <laughs> I'll just stop there. But, uh, you know, 40 bucks for a VIP experience is great. I want to pull up one thing that no matter what we do, yeah. I don't want to forget this, but one, th I want everyone to understand that this is all about a party with a purpose. That's it is a party with a purpose. Can you tell folks what they're seeing in this image where there's a check presentation happening? Yes, we have a program we call the Lamp Lighters. It is our young men in our city that we come and they brought up under our wings and we give them an opportunity to be just participants in, citizen, in, in the city. So they get an opportunity to go to visit colleges. They get an opportunity to have hands-on training on different activities. So they are really exposed to a lot of stuff and they have nothing to pay for. We pay for yeah. everything with this. Also, we give scholarships. So not only do they become a part of the program, they become a part of the scholarship program also. So it's really, I mean, a lot of folks may see Bun B and Kiki Wyatt and cocktails and yes. barbecue, and they may think this is just a big party, but it's actually got um, there's something behind it yes. that is changing young men's lives. Yes, I, I, it's so important to me. I, I was a person who I didn't really like college at first, and I didn't have the money. And I didn't have a scholarship opportunity. I didn't have a chance to get right. that scholarship opportunity. So I always like helping people who are really trying to become better citizens and who want the opportunity to go to school and may need some extra funding. Right. This is what this is about. You've been um, involved, obviously, since you're in charge. You've been probably involved with this festival for a long time. This is my second year, actually, of being involved in the festival. The first year, I was just over the music. And okay. And they said I did a Outstanding job. <laughs> you worked so well, you I got more so, work. Yeah, they said, let's promote them then. <laughs> yeah. Let's promote them then. So, I mean, I end up getting this, and I, I mean, I love it, man. I love being a part of the city, man. I, I'm, I'm, I went to Huntington. I went to Walnut Hill. 
I'm a I'm a resident of this city, man. I know Shreveport. I love it. What's your thing that you look forward to at the festival? Like when you go, like as a consumer. Okay. What would be the first thing you seek out? First thing I'm gonna seek out is Uncle Ray's, the peppers, the stuffed yeah. peppers. Ah, if I had known he was coming, I would have put <laughs> the stuffed peppers from Uncle Ray's is delicious. Uncle Ray's has a sign on the side that says the world's best stuffed peppers, and um, and it's 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 not a lie. Yeah, you know that. Not, and and normally, I don't. I, I listen. I tell my doctor. I put him on speed dial. Hey doc, I'm going to the festival this weekend. He's got stuffed peppers. Just be on speed. Now. Yeah. I'm going to eat a lot of them. So just, I need you to make sure you can bring me back if anything happens. But I'm going to get some stuff peppers. I got to. Well, what can folks do if they want to, um, like, support? If they want to be a part of this as far as whether it's just attending or it's helping spread the word or what can folks do? Man, share our post on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, have an Instagram page, have a Twitter page. Look us up. Let the good times roll festival. Mm -hmm. You can Google us. You can look on Google. You can Google Roll Maker and Friends. You'll see the vendors link. You can go to all the links. I mean, honestly, just if you see a guy with a purple T-shirt and it says Q Sci-Fi on it, stop him and ask him about the Little Good Times Road Festival. What's something, and this will be one of my last questions, but what is something you wish people knew or appreciated about the festival that they may not? You know, is it that is it that it's all going this, towards... This festival is really geared towards the pity people of Shreveport. And people don't realize that. They was like, oh, you know, I want to go down to town and party, but it's really for the people. If I could get a citywide revival, citywide, uh, you know, people coming out performing, doing acts, anything. We have a talent show going on that day, also Saturday from 1 to 5. I mean, you have an opportunity to be a part of all those type of activities. This is Shreveport's Festival. Right, and everybody. Yes. You know, it's not just for one part of town or another part of town. Everyone's welcome. We have people coming from Oklahoma, Dallas, Arkansas, Mississippi, Florida. Uh, I got a phone call from somebody from Washington, D.C. who wow. needs five tickets. I've got, I mean, this, people come that were from Shreveport, come out of town, come from California, just if we come back to Shreveport to be a part of this festival. Well, I think I speak for a lot of folks, and, and we'll, we'll wrap it up, but I want to speak for a lot of folks and say thank you to Ro Omega. This thing's been going now for 33 years. Yes, yes sir. Um, so I can only imagine how many kids you all have helped send to college or helped. Uh, Most definitely. I, I've actually got one kid who's going to be a presentation, give a presentation on stage, who got a scholarship, went to college, graduated, became a member of Omega Sci-Fi, and now he's working on stage. So my, um, just to wrap it up, um, obviously probably the, the entertainer that most folks are going to be wondering about might be Bun B. That's going to be Sunday night. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've got... Uh, John B. Saturday night. So, and John B. kind of R&B hit maker for a while there. Yes, and he's yes. coming back, so... Yes, he hasn't been to Shreveport since like 1991. So if you're trying to put your significant other in a romantic mood... John, John B. B might be the way to do it. I'm going to get up there and sing a little bit with him just to set the mood. I'll start it off. I'm going to open up for him. I'll Excellent. start it off, and I'll let him come jump in. Excellent. Finish okay. it off. Okay, well, if I don't see that, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> <can>. um, don't <laughs> blink. <laughs> um, so there's there's some Zodico. Friday night. Friday night. If you're interested in Zodico and Louisiana music, Friday yes, night would be man. the night to check out. Yes, most definitely. Friday night, we'll have TK Soul. We'll have a bunch of other local blues and Zodico artists. Man, if Friday night, 5 o'clock, we're going to call that the trail ride, the Dukes and Boots. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah so we, we, we Man, do it all. Trail riding has gotten big in this part of the state, too. I, that whole culture has gotten... It's, it's a movement. I used to think of it as, like, kind of Zwally and below, mm. but now it's like... It's a movement. Yeah. We, we have them here all summer long. Well, I, I so appreciate you taking time out. Guys, if you're watching this, I have to tell you, Mr. Holmes' phone has been vibrating the entire time. I imagine that's people wanting uh, tickets, you know, uh, uh, vendor spaces. And, and let me give this disclaimer. Everybody look close to the camera. <laughs> I love getting phone calls. I do. Just don't call me after 1 o'clock asking me, can we get in the festival? <laughs> right. I get, that's the crazy. I get phone calls at 1 a.m. Is the festival today? Well, no. if it is, you're it's too late. over. Right, right, right.
I know that feeling very yes. well. I know that feeling very well. So thank you. No and problem. Thank I you appreciate to it. The brothers of Rome Omega. I know you all are going to do another incredible festival. I'll be there absolutely for Bun B, but now you've got me wanting to come for some other things too. Come, please. Um, so thank you all for, for tuning in. And uh, please share this. I, I'm getting laughed at by folks behind the camera, so I do not know what I've done wrong. But this has been a blast, Mr. Holmes. And, uh, I appreciate and we'll it. see you at the festival for a cup of Omega oil. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, y'all.